Now that I'm 50 years old, I should have some wisdom that I can share. I think what I'd like to say is this. Don't be afraid to look a little silly. <laughs> Come on, Indigo. Good, Indigo. Now, right back to the tripod. Don't eat the tripod. No, that's not good. Don't do that. So this was an unexpected... Indigo, stop. Indigo? Don't. No, don't. Bad <laughs> go. Don't do that. Come on. Come on. Go over there. Good. So this was an unexpected early birthday gift for me. Our very first turkey has laid her very first egg. Turkey eggs are obviously much larger than chicken eggs but you don't really see them in the store I guess they're sort of a delicacy but because turkeys just don't lay very many eggs people don't really stop indigo <laughs> come on come on indigo don't okay stop Indigo was just being a little too ornery inside the goat pen for me to really talk about the turkey egg. Turkey eggs are larger than chicken eggs. And I guess they're sort of a delicacy, but you don't really get to see them anywhere to purchase them because it's just a lot more work to get turkey eggs. Turkeys lay a lot less and it takes a lot more space and food to raise a turkey. So mostly people raise turkeys for meat rather than the eggs. I'll be curious to see what this tastes like. I've heard just by Googling on the internet that it's a little creamier than a chicken egg, but we'll see. All right, so I have never tried a turkey egg before. We've got two turkey eggs cooked here and two chicken eggs on this side. I think I'll start with the chicken eggs. They're good. You know, I can't really even tell the difference. Maybe somebody with a little more discerning palate might be able to tell. But I think they're, they're just as good as chicken eggs, just a little bigger. And it looks like they cook up a little bit of a darker yellow. Yeah, good stuff. This is one of those big birthdays. As of today, I am 50 years old. My birthday is always right at the very tail end of apple season. So another birthday treat for me is the very last apple on our 
Honeycrisp apple tree here. Very good. My big birthday gift this year from Wendy was a brand new computer and some fancy new video editing software. But that's not really the most interesting thing to show in a video like this. So I'll just kind of move along to some of the other gifts. My dad got me several gifts, kind of silly things to unwrap so I'd have a big pile of things for my 50th birthday. There were uh, some empty egg cartons from eggs that we had given him. He was just returning the egg cartons. And uh, empty canning jars. I think we had given Dad some, uh, some spicy pickles that Wendy had, had canned, and he was returning those jars to us. Another one. were these little uh, novelty mustaches. Evidently so I can look a little bit more my own age. My dad's real gift for me though was uh, actually very thoughtful. It's a brand new chainsaw. You might remember I was having some trouble with my old one. Not good in a potential fire situation. So I'm going to try and take it down. I've got an electric chainsaw Unfortunately, the blade is pretty dull, so we'll see if I can make it happen. My dad had borrowed, without my knowing, that old chainsaw so he could have it sharpened and serviced. But the place said it was basically past the possibility of really being able to be used again safely. So he, he just got me a new one. When my mom asked me what I wanted for my birthday, the one thing that I really most needed was a little bit expensive. A spare battery for my leaf blower. I think it really would have been a good idea to have on hand an extra battery for my leaf blower. That was one of the most frustrating things. Trying to blow all of that storm debris away from the house so that it wouldn't be as as much of a fire danger and having to constantly stop to recharge the one battery that I did have. So she just gave me some money towards it and I'm getting another one of these things in just a couple days. Mom also got me a couple of signs to put on the chicken coop. We've got this one. Very nice. And this one, which is a little bit true and on the money. And Wendy got me this one, so I'll be putting these up right now. Not a bad start to a birthday, 50th or otherwise. Now that I'm 50 years old, I should have some wisdom that I can share. I think what I'd like to say is this. Don't be afraid to look a little silly. This actually is something I've struggled with for half a lifetime. I've always felt like I had to be perfect. 
I still do get disproportionately angry with myself for making simple mistakes that I most certainly wouldn't fault anyone else for making. I'm getting better about catching myself when this happens. And better about letting things go. There may be others out there who feel like this. If you can't forgive yourself and you can't express that anger, that's when the real trouble starts because it can turn into depression and depression can eat you alive. So seriously, there is hope. Everyone can learn eventually to live with more realistic self-expectations and reasonable self-judgments.